Yo, what's happening guys? My name is Beastie and welcome back to the channel. Listen, this year Santa Claus is doing something different. He is only giving out presents to people sub to my gaming channel. Yeah, I got, I got a hold of his dick pics. And now I am blackmailing Santa Claus, so if you want Christmas at all, come subscribe to my gaming channel to get Christmas. You can be bad, it doesn't matter. As long as you sub to my gaming channel, you get Christmas. It's great to blackmail Santa, but hey, check it out, look! I have a Christmas tree! I know it's uh, quite generic looking, but uh, it's the best I could do. And also, uh, where else are you going to find a payday mask with the, with the freaking Santa Claus hat on it? I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but there's something out there called hoarding. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically where somebody uh, with a mental illness, at least I believe it's a mental illness, they decide to keep absolutely everything they can get their hands on. I'm talking about milk cartons, trash, poopy baby diapers, anything and everything they find, they keep. But yeah, get ready guys, it's gonna be pretty good. We're checking out a video entitled, The Poop Lady Hoarders. In three, two, one. My mother used to put poop in a jug. Ooh, what? Poop in a a jug. What, what the hell was that? Was that a shot of a bunch of jugs full of actual feces? God dang it, why do I do this to myself? I'm gonna be sick forever. Who does that? Who grabs poop and puts it in a jug? Actually, by the time you put it in there, it's actually a dirty water jug is what that is. So that's what all those dirty water jugs are about. I want to say that the reason that Shanna didn't get rid of all those bottles is because she's lazy. I hope it's not sentimental to her. You hope it's not sentimental to her? You hope it's not sentimental? How could it be? How could it be? Oh, what? I'm good! I've created poop out of my butt! Yeah, I, I don't see how somebody could find value in poop. This house has a septic issue. It's supposed to be drained once every four years. And there's still some space in the toilet, but I don't want it to overflow. So I've been using a bucket. Oh my, what is, what am, oh, oh. who does this? How, okay, first of all, listen, if my toilet broke down and I had to start taking a fat dump in a bucket, that's when I'm ready to leave. That's when I'm ready to go find another house that doesn't have septic problems. But these people, decide to just start, you know, taking a fat dump in, in a bucket. And then they take it and, and they put it in a jug. I don't even want to think about how this works. I've been using a bucket. When the bucket is full of pee and poop, it's really hard to lift it. So I just put it in a smaller bucket. <clears throat> oh God, oh my God. I. You know what? I don't. I, you guys go ahead. I I I can't. I I I can't. I can't. Ah! When I find the person that linked me this video, I'm not even joking. I'm gonna kill their entire family. And I take it outside and empty it. My neighbors could view it as being odd that I dump the bucket out in the front yard. No neighbors have said anything to me about it either, though. Of course they haven't said anything to you. Would you say anything if you saw your neighbor dumping actual shit and pee in the front yard? Would you say anything? Oh, yo, listen, uh, I'm sorry. What is that you're dumping? Is that chocolate milk? What? It's, it's actual crap and pee. Oh, my God. No, they wouldn't say anything because they would be afraid that, I mean, I don't know what you would do, but you look like the type of lady that would kill someone and eat their corpse. I mean, you poop in a bucket and save it. No neighbors have said anything to me about it either, though. This is your... This small blue bucket my mother used mm -hmm. before she died. Is that poop all over the bucket? Yeah, it's poop. Oh God, oh my God, why? Oh. Is that poop all over the bucket? Yeah, it's poop. So do you wash your hands? Like you're gonna go eat soup in a minute, are you gonna wash your hands before that or are you just gonna worry about it? 
No, actually, I don't. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> I'm a pussy. I admit it. I don't care. I, I don't. I don't have a penis. I don't have balls. Listen, I cannot. I cannot. I. I cannot. I legit cannot do this. I cannot do this. I'm sorry. Who takes a dump in a bucket and decides to scoop it out with the hands they used to eat food? Who the hell are you? What? What's wrong with you? Okay, now is this? This is not the worst horde you've ever cleared out. She's eating two feet from all the poop in your end. Do you think I meet the definition of a hoarder? The, the poop, man. You got a ton of poop in this house. What is the main cause of the smell? Uh, musty, musty odor, having to do with mold and dust. Yo, this bitch is a psychopath. You, you actually think the reason your house smells bad is because of mold, mold? Oh, so all those bottles of literal shit. Those, that's not the problem. Your overflowing toilet. That's not the problem. Your bucket. That's not. That it's mold. It's mold. You look like a stupid bitch and a psychopath. I'm sorry. That's disgusting. No. No? Is that it? Is that brand new information to you? To think that the feces and urine has something to do with the smell? I guess so, because I thought it was due to the mold and dust. You have to tell me this, because I, I... You don't know, yeah. I mean, some people would argue, how do you not know that feces in the house is bad? But wait, I don't smell it anymore. It's an extremely dangerous house. The feces, the mold, and bloody tampons just laying on the floor. I don't even understand how you begin to hoard poop. I don't, I don't understand that. I physically cannot conceive the idea of hoarding poop. I could literally imagine anything and it would seem believable somehow, but this, it's just beyond my realm of imagination. How do you collect poop and feel like a human? It's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna give up some stuff. And I, I'm going to go ahead and eat some of the contaminated food and then the party's over. Because I have I to get it that. because when somebody goes on intervention, they want to get high one last time. The party ends for me tomorrow. How is eating contaminated food a party? I'm. Why the f does it matter? Why does it matter? Because you are basically saying you want to eat rotted food and roll around in feces one last time before you're clean. Are, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? That shouldn't even be a question. That should that should be a duh, a big fat duh. Of course you're not gonna do that. I've been eating poop for 12 years. How do you go from hoarding poop to eating it? You mean you were eating it? Oh God, no. I would quit. I would quit if I was these people. I would just quit and say, fine, fine, swim in poop, eat poop, do whatever you want. We're gonna just call you a lost cause and go to some actual easy issues like drug addiction. You're getting a high out of thinking that you've got fecal matter in your food. It's, it's my last, it's my last blaze of glory. Look at me. This is the end of you pooping in a bucket. Oh, no, no. Oh, you know how if you're a kid and you're trying to sneak in cigarettes, I've never done this, I don't smoke, do not start this trend, I will kill you instantly, but you know how you have kids, they try to smoke, they have a little puff every now and again, they feel like a badass, oh, a little puff of a cigarette. The way you stop a kid from smoking, you give them a whole damn carton of cigarettes and tell them to smoke the whole thing. They get so sick, they never touch it. I've seen this work, it, it actually works, believe it or not. No, again, it was not me, but with her, I would take all the feces, Pour it in the, um, I'm, I'm gonna get sick. Pour it in the middle of the, of the room in a giant tarp. Like, put a tarp up against the wall so it's like a pool. Fill it with all crap. Okay, oh my god. And then make her swim in it. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. I'm not even joking, just thinking about this, I'm about to throw up. But imagine if she had to swim in all that feces. This would never be legal. I'm not saying it would be. But imagine if you forced her to do that, she would never hoard poop again. Or she might actually like it, and then you have something even worse on your hands. I mean, how do you win with this? How do these people deal with this delicately? I could never do it. I would be screaming or shaking, or this is poop. What's wrong with you? I could never do this. These people have the patience of God. I don't even know how that's possible, but hopefully enjoy the video, and peace out. I'm gonna be sick for the rest of my life.